I meant yes. Bahrain. Oh, Welcome okay. to Raw Down, boys. What's up? Hey, everybody. We're in the Raw UK. Raw Down. Today. Raw Down. In the UK on St. Patrick's Day? What the hell? Well, I mean, in that's real life. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, happy St. Patrick's where... Day, everybody. That's probably posted. I'm, I'm the collecting yeah. all of the snakes to bring over there right now. Oh, God, no, <laughs> please. Is, I'm having no. 75 children. Also, Ramadan Mubarak, everybody. This oh, happy Ramadan. No sense in. What are we running? We're running about, what, four months ahead at this point? So we'll call it mid-July. This will probably be out. Yeah, we're on yeah. a good schedule. Hey, man. But we're coming at you live. So when one of us dies, the there's still Not several in the tank. Let's go. True. Sure. Dude, Speaking of dying, I saw this opening promo and I wanted to die. But, but before we get to the that, promo, why don't, we, why don't we talk about who's on the show tonight? Got an intro. Oh, but, oh, we're gonna be fucking professional. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna introduce us specifically. Yeah, we got Martin. We got main event Marty. Hi. We got we got Battle Creek Rob. We got Dave. Hello. We got Benny. Emerald. How dare you? And we got Matt Striker's uh protege, Nico. Oh yeah, you could smell the heat from these guns. Nico's in a hotel room in uh, Lafayette. We can't find him. Nah, nah, nah. Huh? Maybe. I, I, I try to go to the United You oh, are yeah. cutting really you are I'm you are shot. you are falling uh -oh. into the glitch zone, pal. Or are you at oh, Georgia no. State Troopers oh, are outside okay. his room. No no Ah oh, no. Alright, how am I now? Good? I think you're so. Yeah. You're as good as you're as good as it can be, pal. Alright, great yeah. start everyone. My best <laughs> Edge and Lita. Yeah. Oh my you god. You think you know them? All right, that probably all just got cut. I'm just gonna start <laughs> this shit. Okay, here we go. We're in London. Unfortunately, Woo! Wembley, baby. Unfortunately, I, Wembley. I please bleep that out. I I shouldn't say that live on air. I apologize to all of our listeners. I don't know. Anyway, if you said that was bad. <laughs> well, I'll see. The, the name of the country we're in truly heinous. Oh my bad. So, hey, right. yeah, so we're, we're in we're in Bravland. Uh, we start the show hey, and this, bro. Uh, this will be a theme for this show which is just recapping shit we've already seen they were truly cooking with nothing for a special UK episode I don't know if the Smackdown episode is going to be any better but half of this goddamn show was recaps so we start the show no, off no dude it, it, it's not... Smack, Smackdown had a 22 WrestleMania 22, big time. Get out of here, Gabriel's way. <laughs> Hi there. We then get a recap of the Shane versus Vince feud. Sean versus Vince feud, rather. One of the, like, seven we get. You remember that stuff we've talked about? There was your second to remember it. They showed it all. It was cool. Woo. And hey, I hope you guys like... 25 minute opening promos featuring either Vince or John Cena and Triple H and Edge. Because we start off with Edge coming to the ring. He's got the dumb hat on. They get into the <laughs> ring. Jerry immediately brings up the live sex celebration. So Lita bizarre. licks Yeah, Lita licks Edge's face, and Jerry Lawler says, How long do you think her tongue is, Joey? And then a second later says, Joey, you ought to hang out with Lita. Maybe she can teach you a second position. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic word. Disgusting. Words. Yeah. We get a sign. It says Edge equals crap. The most yes. creative bruv in Bruvland. Yes. Is at this arena. Yes. <laughs> Edge reminds us of the triple threat that's going to happen at Backlash. And we are shown a recap of him winning last week. One of the interminable handicap matches. You remember also three months ago he cashed in on John Cena? He shows us that. Woo! He then spits out a giant wad of gum. And then Edge says whether we're American, British, or Canadian, it should be obvious that I'll be the champ. And the bruvs bo uh, boo America and Canada. He did and then say that he's superior because he's Canadian. Yes. He loves uh, Camp Laszlo. So, <laughs> Triple H's music hits. I wrote, fuck me, why? He's out here. He's got the Lemmy Chops and t-shirt and jeans. 
somebody has right. a sign that says Triple H, Hungry Hungry Hippo. Yes. <laughs> he says, hey, Edge, you look, walk, talk, and act like a champion. And you can go. You just can't go very long. Oh. A lot of guys have that problem. Get it? Guys like sex. Oh. And then he just keeps making dumb sex jokes that the crowd loves because they have no functional brains. It's been <laughs> polluted by coal smoke. Is Austin Powers out at this time? Oh, yeah. Good question. Somebody look into that. He gets. He talks about endorsing Viagra. He calls Edge the Primutar Superstar. Like, premature, I guess. And then Edge says, I can go ten times in a row, and I can go a long time. I swear, I'm condensing four minutes of terrible sex jokes into whatever amount of time this is. And then Edge says, hey, you fucking lost at WrestleMania. Why are you here? Shut up. And H says, and also you got pinned last week. And H says, yeah, but it doesn't matter that I lost clean again and shouldn't be here i just wanted to send john cena a message and i did and then edge oh. says hey h you suck vince's dick for title shots and then triple h goes only one person in this ring is known worldwide for getting down on their knees it's alita and the crowd says ho and lita's like hey come on you can't say that and then <laughs> triple h prattles on a bunch of bullshit john cena's music hits I don't have it in me for another promo, but thank fucking God they just start fighting. John Cena comes out, just punches Triple H a bunch. Edge just leaves. Triple H gets thrown out of the ring. And then Triple H rips his shirt off and is going to come Ooh. back and kiss John Cena. But then the Spirit Squad show up. God they do damn a- it! Yeah, oh, they do a chant. And then the summation of it is... It's these three guys against all five of them in another handicap match. Can they match. coexist? Ooh. Can they coexist? Ooh. Truly. John Cena's hair is really <sighs> fucked today. I don't know yeah, what happened. Dude looks, no, dude looks thumbed out of his mind. Uh, he's still <laughs> got the bald spot. <laughs> it's the middle of his head. It's nuts, dude. I'm like, what, what is up with his head? <laughs> We're sponsored today by Hims. Get your hair tear treatment. That's right. Your ED medicine. Yeah. That's right. Only on hymns. Get hymns and be him. Hey, uh, hymns. Can you, get, can you get us a sponsor? We got the cum spray. Like we can, we can get it in there. Like it's true. Listen, we need money. It's true. I mean, <laughs> hey, money. our Patreon's bleeding hey. profusely right now. Speaking of which, I have an official announcement about that. What you got? Oh no! Uh, I was told that our last. Uh, 5,000 subscription member bonus was uh, vetoed, and we can no longer do it. So in return, I'm here. 5,000 Patreon people will give everybody a free dog. That's right. I don't know if I can free dog. That. That's okay. Hey, Just wait, find wait, him on the street. Hey, we'll give Nico, everyone Nico, a free dog. Can I talk to you real quick, Nico? Nico, yeah. can I talk to you? Here, come here real quick. Dude, yeah, I, don't yeah, got, yeah. I don't got the money for that, dude. Fuck, dude. I don't know, dude. Just grab fucking something. Call dude, a dog. I can't, I can't afford dogs for everybody. You know how much dogs are? Oh, no. Dude, dude. No, 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 no. See, you just stuff up a sock or something. Like, make a little old guy. Dude, I'm going to get in trouble. The FCC is going to come down no, my ass, not. dude. I can't do that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, hey, look, look, look. It's about the grift, right? Oh, you day, know, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. Money. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, give we everybody just, a free dog them. at 5,000 subs. Get free dog. Yeah, free dog. Bye. Free doge. All right. And at 7,500. What nice you fall down. Speaking of bald men that need hair, I mean, the Just for Men Raw Rewind is here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember when Chris <laughs> Masters beat up Carlito last week? Here you go. There's your Raw Rewind. Woo! Yep, <laughs> we that's did it. it. That's the best. Yeah. Yep. Well, listen, before we, you know, move on to that, Big Ben, oh, is a big masterpiece. Parliament, we're here. But it is nothing compared to the monumental masterpiece of Chris Masters. Ooh, beautiful. But without him, he and Carlito will both be remembered as nothing, just like the painting oh. Whistler's father. 
that I believe uh, Jerry Lawler ranted about for the whole time Chris Masters is coming down to the ring for our next event. Mm-hmm. No one knows what the hell he's talking about, but uh, there you go. Whistler's father. That is uh, our cutting edge commentary team. Woo. All right. We love Chris. Before Masters. we get into the next segment, I do have Uh-oh. to do a rundown. I was given an assignment. Uh-oh. I am the sign man. I scan I the guy. crowd. Uh-oh. Before this episode even started, when they were recapping the whole McMahon versus Shawn Michaels fight, Uh-oh. Peacock, which is what I watched this on, unfortunately, uh, the caption stopped on the word licking for a solid 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. Even though nobody said that word, they said kicking. But I just saw the word licking as I watched Shane McMahon get his ass kicked. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, we got... Edge sucks sign spotted immediately. I got a Vixen sign when Lita showed up. Edge equals crap. That was already talked about. I glanced at a sign that showed up for a good two seconds. And I swear to God, it was an old Joseph DeCrow meme that just said boy next to it. Uh, editor Ty looked that up. Looked that up. It's it's the uh, old like English man rap uh, meme. Uh, oh I got a lot of signs. Here. I don't know what the hell you're name. talking about. <laughs> I got Look you. Uh, sign that said pedigree chum triple h sign hungry hunger hippo bless up to that guy triple h king of england big oof on that sign uh a sign that says i came for the male cheerleaders and they showed up damn Uh, that was me (laughs) sign that said can i play the game uh uh, when john cena showed up sign that said put cena in the bin and last on my notes just a sign all caps that said kirky K I R K Y, just Kirky. Out of Kirky. What if that's a Shout slur in UK? Who fucking knows? They're Brits. Oh my! Oh, they were all wearing oh, Hulkamania oh, shirts. Who cares? Oh, also, okay, we should. The, what you gonna Power do, State? brother? When we get the six-man all tag th- match run wild on you? All three Austin Powers movies have been out at this time. The last one came out in two thousand two. So the, oh, behave, the Brits love their Emerald. sex jokes. Oh, behave. We got, oh, behave. We got the six-man tag, guys. Shelton has unlimited potential. Unlimited. Unlimited potential. But where is Shelton's mama? She's gone. She's dead, She's never dude. coming back. She died She's by heart dead. attack. She's just never coming back. No, she died. Heart attack. After the king saying, who cares about Shelton's mama last week? Now he's asking, where is she? Yeah. Wow. Sounds about right. Uh, I'd just like to point out unlimited potential Shelton Benjamin is a 31-year-old man at this time. (laughs) (laughs) Goddamn right. Is this this Matt Stryker's first match on Raw? I think it might be. Like, this year at least? Yeah. Yeah, at least this year. They 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 pulled him out of heat for fucking the UK tour. That's pretty incredible. Uh, the crowd is ecstatic for Carlito coming down the ring. Uh, He's over baby. because everyone wants to be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Not then me. RVD is one of a kind. And you got Charlie. He's got Haas. his little lunchbox with him. He's very cool. And Charlie Haas is also there. He's cool. Sure oh. thing. Uh, he seems cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he also just kind of showed up last week and hasn't done much since. So he needs oh, to become developed. Didn't how they much? say in commentary about how much he, he did a tour of Italy, a tour of England, a tour of Japan, a tour of Korea? That's He's been right. everywhere. He's been everywhere. Sure. All right, Nico, yeah. give us a give us a shot for shot rundown. I know you I know you know the moves. You know, I know Rob Rob reversed <laughs> an Irish whip into a rollover how do you do? You know, I know all of these things, but you know the real t- for the listeners here. Uh, all right. This is where I have to be honest. Uh, watching this match was kind of a mess. Oh, no. I, yeah. Uh, all I can say is, like, uh, fucking Rob Van Dam is such a fucking great wrestler. And he's, like, in my opinion, the only real standout in this match. Again, like, uh, when he hits, like, his blue, blue rolling thunder... By fucking five sauce, well, I, fog splash again. He's the one who it's like clear this whole match is about him. Uh, like Charlie Haas, background, Carlito, kind of a background, Masterson, kind of a background, 
Fuck it. Stryker. I didn't even know he was in the match for half of it. Shelter Benjamin. Background. It's like it wasn't boring, but like I said, I I thought like kind of the way they set it up is just a little too much. Nico, and what I, are you talking about? This was a human match. demolition derby. What are you talking yeah. about? Chris Mastis used about? his immense strength to ground down the aerial artist that is Rob Van Dam. I don't think we were watching the same match. Nico. I don't. Even, I've watched this thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Van Dam was feeling froggy tonight. He hit a, he a was. rolling thunder into the five star. He did, and it was fucking great. That's what I said. I, I really like Charlie Haas in this match. I really think he was doing a lot of cool stuff. I miss him. <laughs> I miss him. Like, yeah. Him and Sheldon were a really good team together back in the day. <laughs> Everyone, I'm just now learning with you at home that Tyler apparently is the number one mark for Charlie Haas. And He's I good, dude. Did not know. He's really good. He is good. They just made him look like a fool last week, and that's why I got so hot about it. <laughs> this time they made him look a little better, but RVD got to get that rub because he got a pay per view match, man. Yeah, and I guess if this was Matt Striker's first match, he yeah he didn't really do anything but kind of get lumberjacked outside of the ring for. <laughs> A minute. He really was just a body. Exist. He really was just a body yeah. for the match. Like he, I don't even know. Like I, like did you guys even have anything like of offense that he did? I remember he got hit mm. by a, like a no. over the top splash by Rob, but that's about it. Oh. Yeah, I think I think he had a small brawl with Charlie Haas outside of the ring yeah. for like one second, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. Not. I mean, I like the match, but I mean, what else was there on the show? Yeah, I'll tell you like what I else said, was I mean, on the show. Was... We got a sign that says Aaron and Steve show up. I don't know what that means, well, we'll see Steve but later. guess what? That sign Aaron, stays Aaron, there Steve. the whole fucking Aaron episode. And Steve. Aaron and Steve. Hey, also, if... London loves Rob Van Dam because the second he showed up, they went wild. I saw like twenty signs that just said Rob Van Dam on it. RVD, oh, yeah. London on the track. Back. We got London. RVD, on the... Mr. Money in the bank it. takes it all. <laughs> Someone keeps holding up a really bad and illegible sign. I think just says Moor. Not sure what that was about. Uh, then the oh, last bro. sign I saw for that segment was Jar Packs Fudge. That's, That's right. That's it. That's right. Also, I don't know yeah. what's going on. Why the fuck it's so like foggy in here? Like it's hazy. It is. And then Nico <laughs> informed me that they were they were legally it's able to London smoke fog. inside until oh? the year pr- oh. after. It until was f- July first, two thousand seven, when they banned insane. it. That's insane. I can't I was... imagine lighting up a fucking cigarette and watching Carlito match. Like I don't, I don't the know. London that. fog, boy. dude. Which is that's weird. like the coolest thing ever. See, I didn't see anybody smoking. No, I just it was foggy in there. Yeah, the London fog was. Yeah. Hidden. No, because like I was listening to um, no podcast, and they're talking about like how like all these shows are fogging. Like, well, yeah, because people used to just fucking light up and smoke in them. That's crazy. And like. And, like, that's where the fog comes from. It's all the cigarette smoke. <laughs> it looks so yeah, wrong. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, yeah, but, and so I was like, oh. And so I was just kind of heard that. So I looked it up. I'm like, when did they ban that in arenas? And it was July 1st, 2007. Wow. We'll get there. Wow. <laughs> I've been yeah, spending nope. this segment researching, and I have several things. This is Matt Stryker's first match on Raw. Oh, so. On the... On the house show loops, he's been working feuds with, it seems, Eugene, Goldust, and Viscera. Sounds about right. Oh. So that's cool. Charlie Haas's last match was July 8th, 2023, where he lost in the WOW Ultimate Survival 2023 heavyweight title four-way at Fun Station USA in New York City. Sick. To some people. He had a match with Josh Alexander in TNA on January 9th, 2022. Oh, and at shit. some point he won. <laughs> at some point he won the XICW Midwest Heavy Title Heavyweight Title at Best in Detroit 26, and then lost it. What is that? A month later to Rhino. <laughs> Holy shit! Paul That's Giamatti? Insane. No, dude. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Backstage. Yeah, Unless you got more, my bad. No, hold on. Oh, hold on. on. Not backstage yet. Baby hates me, Ty. Danko oh, is here. Danko Jones. With his hit yeah, with his hit single Baby Hates Me. Come on. I apologize. Me and Nico will get that album review out uh sometime in twenty twenty six. Just play that nah, entire we'll album. Backlash. Editor Ty, just put the entire album in right here. Okay. Here's yeah. uh here's forty five minutes of Danko Jones. That's crazy. That's okay. Could you imagine that we just we just listened to the whole album, dude? That was nuts. Dude, it's so soft yeah, yet aggressive, you know. Is that what you would, is that what you would say about it? <laughs> I have not heard it yet. Yeah, but I'm if you projecting. did hear it, you'd be soft yet aggressive. Vince is here. And he says oh, yes. and he says, Hey, you know what, guys? Last week, that wasn't an act of God. You listen here, Todd. That was just our equipment guy. And you know what? He apologized to me. He apologized to me very profusely. And you know what? I accepted that apology. And I fired him. God can't get me. I'm Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I have a good authority that he's not even here tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God is on holiday. And tonight we got Shane versus Sean. And that that's about it. We got Shane versus Sean again today. Another another one? Why? We get the pay per view oh, the tag. We gotta man. build the match. It's been built. Everything was built last week. Everything was built we last week. We didn't need this. We didn't need this. We didn't need any of it. Hey. Don't Vince don't question good authority just is the devil. That's right. Oh and then, you know, like we go backstage and Tori Wilson's getting ready for her diva contest. We, yippee, we got a bikini contest, guys. Are you excited? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Please. Yes, I oh, sure do you. love objectifying women publicly. Put that, put that, put, put that, that, put it that. on the internet. That's a clip short it. right there. We all know the truth now. I hope I said that sarcastically enough. Nope. No. Damn it. You fuck. That's the opening anyway. of the show. Every week. <laughs> this is... All Damn right, it. I... I... Let, let me tell you, wonderful viewers, I've been training for this. No. See, well, hold on. No, 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 no. We got sorry. May 19th. You're too horny, Nico. Oh, May 19th. Too horny. <laughs> yeah. Hold yeah. off. We got to get to something else first. Fuck, That's I forgot about this. Right. Go. Put it back in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's in. It's in. Emerald, I'm sorry. You have to wait to objectify women, but here's your segment. <laughs> oh, my yes. niece. We got Backstain. We got Kane. Oh. He's sweaty. He's angry. He's mumbling to himself. This man is off his rocker. Big Show is here. Kane is just so mad about the movie. But Big Show's like, come on, man. We're, we're, we're buddies. We're tag team partners. We were champions together. What's going on? What's going on about this date? You said the date. What date? Mm. You know what you said. May 19th? Don't say it. Or else. Or else. Or else what? Big Show tests him. Says it again. Kane goes nuts. And just starts wailing on Big Show like a rabid animal. Five men had to rip Kane off a of Big Show. But not before Kane gets a big blow on the Big Show's eye. And you just see Big Show on the ground covering his left eye bleeding. He like grabbed his head like a mandible claw, like just like they're like the the uh the iron claw. And he just grabbed the yeah. top of his head, and I'm like, wow, he's actually just gripping him up. And then you just look at Big Show and he's bleeding. I'm like, what the fuck? How'd that even happen? He's bleeding. You did not. You. It happened so fast, and and Kane was just blocking the camera, but you. It, it's as if he dug his finger into Big Show's eye. And then, Hopefully that's not the case, because they got a 1v1 next Sunday. Let's go, baby! And we got fucking Trevor Murdoch and Lance Cade and Schnitzky trying to get him off, and Kane just bops the shit out of him. Go back to heat, he said. Raw legend uh, Trevor Murdoch once again <laughs> on the show. <laughs> NWA champion, I think, maybe. Yes, he, Trevor Murdoch. Probably. He was, he was. Former. When we get to NWA Power, we're, we're, uh, 
I don't know, some kind of... Oh, we're out of directions at that point. I'm just going to say Northwest. <laughs> and, like... 2075 will have more Trevor Murdoch content for Woo, you. Woo! Yay! <laughs> My favorite. Trevor. Trevor. Yes, and we will be uh, tuning in to, to Kane's movie. Uh, what was it? See No Evil? Yes. You've probably already heard it by the time this comes out, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, probably. So we either will be, or have, or maybe we died. Who knows? This is here's a time capsule. True, Kane, very true. Kane might, Kane might come for us. And now, Nico, speaking of come, Nico is going to die of being too horny. He's going to unleash the He's beast. Been, <laughs> no. We have been building to this for months. And now it's Nico not can true. unleash his come not spray. True. It's not true. Okay, maybe. All right, so, my wonderful viewers, my lovely Raw Down Nation, I, in preparation for the segment, I went down south. I hit any place that somebody would either be in a bikini or dance or be showing off. All of these experiences just to get you the best type of criticism, feedback, and experience on the subject. So, coach is in the ring. He stands there and he basically introduced to our four contestants. We have Tori Wilson, Victoria, Maria, and Candice Michelle. Because at this time, any WWE show could only have up to eight women. Anything more, the, the ratings just plummet. It, it, nobody knows why. It's just one of those things. But anyways, so we start off and... Another review coming up between me and Ty. It's the Pussycat Bells album. Oh, no. Don't <laughs> Please, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we start off with Toy Wilson. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Like I said, I came, I came for the reporting. I got all the knowledge in. And let me tell you, this was a, this was a terrible impression. She just kind of walked around. Like, the fuck was this? But, you know, still Tori Wilson, so people cheer. People loved it. All right, cool, cool. Next up was Victoria. Now, Victoria had this giant fucking trench coat on. I, I don't know why. But, uh, so she takes it off. And I'm going to say right now, she's the only one who's actually trying with this. Because, you see, at the end of the day, whether you think this is good or bad, Victoria is a professional. She's a professional. And whether it's wrestling or one of these things, she'll fucking go all in on it. And you know what? She did. She did some shakes. She went over the ropes. Done. Uh, Maria is next, and she's just out of fucking character. Okay. Yeah, yeah she doesn't Mar seem like she fits in, to be honest. No, the the Maria we see on TV would probably just pop that thing open with as much energy as. Her as she can and just run around the fucking arena like a dumbass. <laughs> like, that's how she's portrayed. But all of a sudden, she's going into, like, the suave, sexy mode, and it's like, the fuck is this? I mean, again, she did a, she actually did a decent job, but, you know, again, this is, a, this is so far not a good bikini contest, viewers. And finally, it's Candace Michelle. And, I mean, this whole thing was built for Candace Michelle, right? So they gave Candace Michelle like a new song. I don't remember what it was. And she's going in. And uh, let me tell you, uh, for this being her segment, she did not pull it off. She was uh, not there. You get what I mean? The crowd did not no. even care. No, they, they, they cared Maria. about some of the other people. They all wanted Maria, and that's yeah. it. And, dude, I can't even blame, right? I mean, why the fuck? Like, Maria was like the hot ticket. She got like the wildest reaction. And to be like I said, while it is out of character, I mean, she did the, she probably did the best. It was like, oh, Victoria, Candace, Toy, if I had to rank it. Th those are my rankings. Now, yeah. Coach well, is like, on. all right, you what missed are the out fans on Candace think? just randomly kissing Victoria. Oh, yeah, she did randomly kiss Victoria, but you know, that didn't even get know. a pop either. <laughs> 
No, no, <laughs> because everyone's seen it. The only kiss they want to see right now is when Edgelina just saw going in like full sex kiss, or they want fucking uh, John Cena Triple H. Also, to I, just thought, kiss. I thought Tori had a blood feud with these two, like not even a couple weeks ago. They they do, which is why she's competing to win. But eh, whatever. She don't seem that. Oh pressed no! About it, it. It, it, now it gets worse. Let me tell you. Uh, I don't know if you know this about us and the Raw Don crew. We hate Coachman on commentary. Oh, we hate Coach. Oh yeah. We hate Joey Styles on commentary. At King is a fucking mess in general. But uh, with this team, this is like the worst king you could get. Like, this is bottom of the bear shit. So, mm -hmm. fuck it. Coachman does the thing with the cheers. Toya gets cheers because she's a baby face. But Toya gets kind of nothing, even though she did better than, like, half the fucking people up here. Maria gets the biggest pop, and the Candace oddly gets a middling pop. It was actually a little surprising with the whole Playboy thing and how much they're pushing her and shit. She, but at the same time, she's a heel. Like, you don't want the heel to win. And of course, Coach Vince, like, ah, it doesn't matter what you think, because at the end of the day, I say Candace Michelle wins. And it's like, yay. And, you know, they're all like, I don't give a fuck, and I leave, because this, this is already stupid. Mm -hmm. Then Coach Vince, like, all right, well, I got to get you a prize, don't I? He just starts licking his lips, you know, smacking him at him. And he's like, ah, your prize is. Kiss, take our session with the coachman. Cringe. Everybody's cringe. Like, this was mega cringe. Like, I okay, look, that, how do I put this? There are people who, in a way, can like accentuate, like do a better job with this thing. And this is kind of passe in the year of 2036 when this is debut live. But like, for example, I just saw a segment not too long ago with like, kind of like a heel having to kiss like you know like a baby face and they just did it so goddamn well you know but this was just like oh coach is creepy and harassing her which again weird candace michelle's a heel why are you putting her in this situation this is stupid right the world's largest and love machine viscera debut yeah. he didn't debut <laughs> he's been on before i know but you interrupted me. Well, he, I inter he interrupted Coach. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only thing I was going to say, uh, he was going for it, and Candace was making some fucking face. And yeah, this one comes in. And let me tell you, man, this is 400 something pounds of sexy. He gets in, he looks down Candace, and he's like, Well, you want to think of the do to her? And he looks at Coach, and I'm going to do to you. Yeah, he channeled this Mark Henry from earlier in the year. He yep. said, what if it was me? What if it it's was true. me, coach? <laughs> yeah, fucking. So, uh, Viscera basically hits him with his <laughs> moves that I do not know, to be it's honest. I, I, I know. Is, did he hit his Moe and Trump? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, oh yeah, he did. But I'm talking about that where he kind of drops down on his knees. I forgot the official name. Like you know, like on top of his head with his wing. A splash. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Just, yeah Is he it just a splash? A splash? Yeah. He just hit him with a splash, and ah. then he hit him with a. He spanked his ass. And then I think yeah. I think Peacock cut that he humped the shit out of his ass because that's been a thing on Heat. Also, hey guys, I've been watching all the Heat episodes, catching up. Viscera is the king of Heat, by the way. We'll we'll get into that later, like in a different yeah. universe of Heat. <laughs> that's Wait. true. Yeah, they they, they must have cut that out. That it did look a little. It looked weird. like it got cut out. <laughs> yeah, it probably did. Which you know, probably for the best. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, just... coach. Yeah, and then. Fucking uh, this one makes up with Candace and then she drags him to the back where uh, the love machine gets his name. And I'm sorry for that long uh, segment, but this was a complete fucking mess. This was absolutely fucking terrible. I hate this. Uh, I, 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 oh, no. I spent so much money on research. You can't hate, you can't <laughs> hate this, dude. No. Is this the most problematic segment we've seen. I think so, yeah. Most oh, definitely. I, you think so? Uh, the, the dog pussy thing was kind of 
but this really is really bad. But you you listen, had coach like almost essays Candace. Like he's going yeah. to do it. I, I will point out fair. Candace making out with Viscera was con seemingly consensual on screen. Yes. Backstage, oh, yeah. who the fuck knows? But on screen, she was fine with it, with tongue and everything. Yes. No, and she yeah. smacked his ass, too. But, yeah, honestly, I think the coach stuff is really what puts us into, like, distasteful and just bad. It was yeah, just someone, bad. Someone needs to slap his bald, bald head. <laughs> the only good thing that happens as a result of this is Jonathan Coachman is off commentary the rest of the night selling this yes. injury. Yeah, you had a broken Finally, pelvis. somebody shut him the fuck up. Yes. Thank you, Viscera. Thank you, Viscera. Yes. The king of heat. Thank you, Viscera. Now, before we what go to the next segment, there were huh? some pretty okay signs. Uh, I saw a happy B-Day Cena for whatever reason. It just showed up in this segment. Um... There were a lot of signs that were either too small or too far away for me to read, but then Viscera showed up. People went absolutely fucking nuts for him, and they even zoomed in on this uh, chain of, of We Love Viscera sign on it. I'm glad. Absolutely, absolutely wild for Viscera. Yeah. And uh, that was it. R.I.P. Coach. Rest in piss. Gary Lawler, also awful during this segment, as you would expect. Mm-hmm. So, he has a little line for everybody that comes out that I've written down. When Candace comes out, Jerry Waller says, I asked her out for dinner, and she asked if she could bring a date. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> when Maria comes out, Jerry Lawler says, Some say she doesn't have a lot going on upstairs, but man, what a staircase. <laughs> All right. Jerry and Joey have a back and forth on Victoria. And I forget which one is Jerry, which one is Joey, because I forgot to write down specifically, but this is a back and forth. One of them says, ah, oh, this is one vicious vixen. The other one says, I'd say something sarcastic about Victoria, but I'm afraid she'd punch me in the mouth. And then as I think, you know, I mean, some people are into that. The other one says, yeah, you'd probably end up liking it. And... I agree. Victoria, please punch us all in the mouth. This is an official uh, statement of Raw Down. We endorse that. We, we endorse do. that sentiment. Please kill me. I won't feel it. Is it. it oh, it, is it fucked up that, like, because, like, you, you imagine that you couldn't tell if it was fucking Jerry or Joey. I can never tell what any of them are saying half the time. You live like, a blessed just, life. Yeah. So I'm just watching a match. I don't know. I like some, I could usually tell Jerry Lawler, but like, Joey Styles and Coachman just like seep into each other. I think they're like the same person watching yeah. the match. <laughs> it's tragic that if somebody says something mildly entertaining, it's like always Jerry Lawler. And that yeah. sucks mm -hmm. so bad. <laughs> but when Jerry and Joey have another back back and forth, when Tori Wilson comes out, <laughs> I think Joey says she's like a girl next door. And then Jerry says, yeah, if she lived next to Hugh Hefner. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Also, Peacock paid for the rights to Don't You Buy the Pussycat Dolls. That's still allowed on. Yeah, I don't. These I don't shows, get it. but they, but they dub over like half the theme songs in this shit. So shout out to the Pussycat Dolls. I'm not gonna do any research into figuring out the copyright and who owns that. The only research on that kind of thing is when Ty inevitably does his Sony Spider-Man Cinematic Universe oh, breakdowns wait. for you. That, that's going to be an hour per, and it's all going to be just me. And I can't wait. Ty refuses oh. to read a book, but he knows all about <laughs> who owns every shit to your Spider-Man character and why. So look out for that. The Craven the Hunter will also, be a goaded movie, I promise you. Yeah. Uh, people, men in the crowd are fist pumping for what Victoria has going on. They're very excited. And also, the last line I have from Jerry, he says, I'd like to take Maria on a picnic to the Sherwood Forest and see if she's the down-to-earth type. Mm. I don't know what that what means. That? <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Not good. That's my assumption. So we go from, yeah, like, I mean, one can't be good. distasteful like moment to another distasteful moment because now we got Vince coming out and it's no chance for anybody to have a good time tonight. Vince says, 
Yeah, we... Welcome to my son, the product of my omnipotent semen, Shane McMahon. God, I wish he didn't say that. Editor Ty, you've got to believe yeah, we just can't say those oh, yeah, slurs. Right. On, on... Just replace them with you saying semen chopped and screwed. Omnipotent semen, here in omnipotent semen, the product <laughs> of my omnipotent semen. That's right. Here is omnipotent semen. Here comes the money. Here we go. <laughs> money <laughs> talks. And then uh, the sexy boy is here, Shawn Michaels. And they like they don't have a bad match. They don't really like. Ha- like I, I'm surprised at how much Shane was doing in this match. Like he was like, um, what was it? There was a move where he went for like a suplex. Shawn did, and he countered it, and then hit a fucking fucking neck breaker out of that shit. It was nuts. I had. Yeah, I had a modified torture rack into a yeah, spin out a, TKO. Is that what you're talking yes, about? Yeah, 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 that shit rock. I don't know what Shane was on. He was in the uh, redacted country, and uh, he just decided to show out. Because then he gets up to the top rope and fucking hits a moonsault, but he missed. But he still fucking went for it. Just landed straight on his fucking stomach. It looked awful. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Um, yeah. Other than that, like. Sean, Sean was phoning it in. Shane was trying his ass off for whatever reason. Uh, the ending of the match, the uh, he keeps going for Vince, and Shane keeps cutting him off. Eventually, gets hit in the dick and thrown onto the announce table, and uh, fucking Shane hits his uh, his panted bullshit where he always jumps from the top rope to the announce table and cleans him. Just completely killed Sean. Sean's knocked the fuck out. And Vince stands over his corpse, and he goes, I told you, Sean. I told you. God's not here. God, on Sunday, you'll be a chicken. That's it. That's all I got to say about it. God will be a chicken on Sunday. We're also informed that Shane's full Christian name is Shane Brandon. Oh, that's (laughs) right. They said that Shane Brandon McMahon and Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and then they have the fucking what was up with this production value? I thought that was pretty crazy how they had the the spotlight on them, like the blue spotlight, and then they panned oh. outward, upward, and looked down on them, like, and it looked pretty cool. And the crowd it, got like this it, cool but, shot. But when they did that, the quality of it like went down a bit. That well, I mean, that's just because of lights and movement on camera and all the smoke. Yeah, the smoke, too, always plays into it. Like, the bit rate dies if you have so much light popping out. Yes. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's Sean... Really, what I get from this match, to further my agenda, people keep telling me Shawn Michaels is good. Shawn Michaels is this. Shawn Michaels is that. Shawn Michaels... He's a and I'm not putting this entirely on him, because he's been working with Vince and Shane, and they're both not actually wrestlers. However, there is one wrestler that has garnered a legitimately good wrestling match. Not one of these bullshit street fight whatever matches. An honest to God, actually good wrestling match out of Shane McMahon. And that is TNA's Shawn Michaels. But if Shawn Michaels is actually good, Shawn Michaels is the you are, you are. (laughs) AJ Styles is the I am, I am. Hit Get Ready to Fly, tune into TNA, whatever the fuck they do, and how long does Kurt have, like, three or four months? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, three or four months, the TNA cast, you'll see an actually good version of what... You'll see what people think Shawn Michaels is, but his name is AJ Styles. Shawn is a very incredible wrestler when he wants to be. If he does not care, he will not care. And you see that in that Hulk Hogan match, which people like for some reason. People like that match, like... That's his best match because he's just trying to be a shithead. And yeah. He's not trying to actually wrestle. Yeah. Which he yeah. Can. It, 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 it's not like he's being a shithead to like Eddie Guerrero or some shit. He's being a shithead to Hulk Hogan, yeah, which is nice. even is just the funniest of people to do that shit to. I I don't know why Sean is okay with whatever he's doing because I'm sure he's not happy with his like faith being questioned and destroyed like that like as a bit. I don't know. It's so bizarre to like watch this shit and like deal with 
Vince yelling hallelujah, amen, 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 hallelujah over Sean's corpse. And then you got fucking God next week. Oh, yeah. Also, God, yeah. consummate professional. He doesn't he doesn't show up unless he gets paid. Brother, Correct. he's not showing up. He's not showing up to no redacted country. Yeah, God True. is the Brock Lesnar of the deities. You got you to gotta pay him. <laughs> Judeo-Christian God shout out. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we cut back from the break, and Sean is getting fucking help to the back on Unlimited. And, man, I, what is up with Unlimited? Can they please stop this? It's all gone from the ether of time. Like, I can't look it up. I can't find any Unlimited yeah. clips. Unless Do, we know, like this? Do we know how much WWE Unlimited costs? Let's see. WWE.com Unlimited. Yeah, e- either way, like, if this is what they show us, then it was just somebody watching three minutes of Shawn Michaels being carried away during a commercial break Ooh. on their whatever internet they had in 2006. Bad. That's crazy. All right. Some signs have to be pointed out for this segment. One, thou shalt not worship McMahonism. Uh, I saw another one. Vince, I'm your apprentice. That was a big yike seeing that one. Uh, a lot of a lot of religious conversion signs to McMahonism. Everyone trying to kiss McMahon's ass. Uh, uh, McMahon is a cult. That is a correct sign. Uh mcmahonism he sins for us uh and then we got a a name drop of donald trump uh big yikes big yikes from that one uh (laughs) the crowd i do have to say this crowd the most excited crowd i have ever seen out of any any of these episodes i've watched thus far and we're not even in uh uh a, a a nameable country well, the Bruvs only get this like once a year, so they're really excited about it. Ah, okay. That's so usually is, what it is. When this they is go their to a, Christmas. Yeah, when they go to not the United States or Canada, the people are usually much more excited because they get it once a year. I get it. Whereas us in insert city and insert area can fairly reliably get, I don't Inserted. know, two to, yeah, two to three wrestling shows a year Yeah, for just the Fed. We fun. love the Fed. You'll never guess where we're from. Don't worry. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to South Dakota. Oh fuck! Oh no, that. you're not supposed to say that. Oh, what the hell? Dude, come on, you know we're hosted in Atlanta. Come on. Oh sh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Anyway, I can't. I can't gauge anything about how much unlimited cost. Apparently, people Nick liked Gage. it a lot back in the day because you watched like wrestling without commercials. What Uh-oh. fucking mobs? Yeah, I don't know. They, apparently, it was just like the predecessor to the network. Some... So I assume just it was make a match the Forge. And Forge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me cook up some <laughs> Halo 3 4. Let's... All right. You don't have to play this. We're going to play some. Somebody probably made an attempt at the Raw ring in Halo <laughs> Forge. Check it out. Let's We're going to play SWAT. It'll be great. I'll be Chris <laughs> Benoit. Um. <laughs> So, we're now at Edge and Cena backstage. Cena really getting booed tonight. The bruvs hate John Cena. Yeah. Edge says, hey man, if somebody tries to be a hero tonight, we're all going to suffer. Because it's five on three. And Cena says, yeah, okay, but you constantly fuck people over all the time. Relax, dude. It'll be what it is. And if you try to screw me, you're going to go down quicker than your girlfriend. Whoa. And then Edge is stunned and John Cena leaves. <laughs> Raw this week is brought to you by the new and improved Just for Men. Yay! Starburst. <laughs> and Axe Snake Peel Shower Scrub. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. At 100 patrons, Dave will use only Axe Snake Peel Shower Scrub from 2006 to clean himself for a week. Ooh, yeah, okay. that's fine. It's gonna peel off his skin by the end of the week. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be like a new snake. Ooh, you'll be leathery and smooth. All right, anyway, so why are the just hell are like they? Umaga? Oh no, hold on. There's one. I have a. There's How a dare you? One bullet point. It was perfect. I know, but 
I have to tell the people what happened. The fan demands knowledge. If I forget this segment, they'll riot. Uh, Edge and Lita are talking backstage. There's a perf camera angle on them. We don't know what they're saying, but Lita seems happy. Definitely a segment we're talking about. Jerry's like, she's so happy to hear from him. And they don't don't show any of fucking emotion. (laughs) Nope, it was all nothing. Yep. Yeah, Jerry, cam, dude. cock watching the whole night. And speaking of cock watching, we've got some in this next segment. Let's go. <laughs> Umaga is here. We're here. Come on now. Umaga's here, dude. Uh, Armando has the sausages tucked away <laughs> in his pocket. <laughs> As he gets in the ring, they almost fall out, and he makes sure to grab them and keep them in. He needs them. And who is Umaga's opponent tonight, you ask? None other than Steve Lewington. Icon, icon, icon. Yep. The iconic English wrestler. Did you ever figure out about him? Uh, So I, I got some bullet points about Steve Lewington. He is part of... The Ohio Valley Wrestling Federation. Ooh. That is stationed in Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. Uh, d- don't know how that works, but we got it. <laughs> well, the Ohio, ri- it's the valley of the Ohio River when <laughs> passing around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al Snow. Uh, yeah, Al Snow. Uh, <laughs> after this match, which may be surprising to you guys after hearing how it goes. Uh, he was signed onto WWE with a developmental contract so that he can return to Ohio, Ohio Valley Wrestling in June for a new push. Sounds about uh, right. And then he will go on to be the OVW Tag Champion with Chet the Jet. Oh! After they defeat the James Boys in Let's 2007, go. the Oracle has told me. What a, uh, what a cool thing. Yeah, in 2008, uh, he becomes named DJ Gabriel and teams up with Alicia Fox in FCW and ECW. Oh, we'll get to there. We'll get to that on Extremely yep. Sideways. Uh, and my last point is he is currently being billed as the Swolverine Bronson. Was he, Wolverine! Was he that big yet? It didn't seem like he was that big yet. <laughs> he does not appear. He's not that big. Is Brian Cage also not the Wolverine? Is this gimmick infringement? I I only can tell you what the internet has told me. Oh no! Is, is Brian <laughs> Cage getting is he getting bruved right now? Bruved. <laughs> Brian Cage might be getting bruved. Have you ever seen Brian Cage? By the way, look up. Let's look him up and tell me about how big that man is, real quick. Editor Ty, put uh, him just, up. Just throw him off. Yeah, just throw him off. <laughs> no, yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, he's way, he's way more swole. <laughs> yeah, dude is asparagus and chicken breasted out of his mind. <laughs> Absolutely. This man eats whey protein for snacks. That's true. <laughs> Very All right. true. All right, Dave. Talk to us about Umaga versus Steve. Colonizer versus colonized. What does that mean? Oh, boy. Which oh, one's which? God. Tell me. Hold on. Emerald, which one's which? <laughs> uh, Steve Lewington's obviously the colonizer because he's, you know. Oh, from... no, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> explain what you I mean. Emerald is, Emerald is off the rails. Yeah, please explain what you mean. Well, the brother took over uh, a lot of uh, other countries. Uh, and I uh, am to believe that Umaga uh, from the island of Samoa is one of those uh, countries. Does, a, so, you know. does the UK have anything to do with Samoa? Well, as it turns out, London missionaries showed up there in okay. uh, 1830. So okay. who can say? Let's fucking go. I know US has <laughs> runs them right now. <laughs> Don't worry about that's, it. That's American Samoa. Oh my yeah, bad. it's different. But that's where he's that's, from. That's where you land planes. No, it's different. <laughs> okay. It is different. That's where he's from. <laughs> so the bell rings, and with a single kick, Umaga sends Steve Lewington flying out of the ring, uh, destroying him immediately. Uh, Umaga then comes out of the ring, begins to lift the thousand pound steel steps, then has a better idea. Sets them back down, 
and then picks up Steve by the legs and swings him like a doll into the steps, uh, <laughs> destroying his bones. He then throws him back into the ring, hangs him upside down from the ropes at, at the turnbuckle corner, uh, and then hits him with a flying headbutt. Drags him into the center of the ring to pick him up, to hit him with the spike, uh, and leave him for dead. Mm -hmm. And there goes the bruv champion, Steve Lewington, straight to hell yep. in about a minute. Is it, has it been in 27? Listen, I love Umaga. <laughs> He's so oh. devastating. I was scared My shitless of two people in wrestling when I was a kid. Like around the end of 06, start 07 is when I started watching again as a kid. And I was terrified of the great Kali and Umaga. I'm like, well, these yeah. guys are undefeated all the time. If they lose, They're it's awesome. like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, so they but, nasty. Ty, who you should really be afraid of uh -huh. is Ric Flair. Woo! As he, he uses his instant transmission powers. Yeah, how the fuck did that teleport <laughs> behind Umaga suddenly? Don't know. Trick of the cameras. Uh, Dude, he, then, the he then hits Umaga with an old man three-piece combo punch to the head. And then aggressively grabs Umaga's dick <laughs> he cock yep. and, and just screams at him while just clenching Umaga's dick. Woo! Uh, <laughs> he then pushes Umaga out of the ring and then proceeds to dance around and woo, uh, gesturing that and if Umaga comes to fight him again, he will just grab his dick again. <laughs> so that, And then it just goes to commercial after that. And I was yeah. left stunned. Emerald, number yeah. one cock watcher in the Fed. Who you got? Hmm. Could could you could you add context to the question? <laughs> no. Hmm. I guess Ty. I'm not in the Fed. What? The oh, <laughs> yeah. what the was that the Ooh. question? I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, could you remind me what the Fed is? <laughs> the WWE, brother, the Fed. Oh, uh, <laughs> probably Vince. Yeah, he probably does yeah, watch a lot. Yeah, it's probably true to be honest. Fucking, I agree. Uh, me, I'm not. One, I'm not in the Fed. <laughs> you're in the Fed. Oh no! Somebody yeah. photos. Somebody Ty, photoshopped Ty's head over yet. Benoit. No. <laughs> oh, <I'm not> <laughs> watching Kurt and their Ty throw it up there. There it is. Uh, Look, guys. You think Ty knows how to use a fucking Bowflex? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, oh. I saw one good sign during this match. It was, I came to see God. And well, that was the only gonna... time. No. And God is Umaga. God is Umaga. God is Umaga. That, that little fucker probably came in with that sign. And the Vince was like, God's not showing up this time. And he was like, fuck, I bought the sign for nothing. Shit. <laughs> but then he saw Umaga and was like, I yeah. came to see him. <laughs> That's right. Umagism. I came. Umagism. <laughs> Listen, Umaga. tell me about that backstage, Martin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, this was definitely worth talking about. <laughs> I forgot this happened. Thank fuck I have notes. So, Triple H. <laughs> is backstage with the t-shirt and the jeans and the water. Lita comes by and says, Hey, man, you're probably still mad about... Cool voice crack. Good job, Martin. <laughs> Lita says, Hey, man, you're probably still mad about last week. But John Cena says everything's cool, so you should be cool, too. And then Triple H says, Hey, thanks for coming by and helping out. You're real nice. I hope you're this nice on Sunday. And then Lita says, if I'm not, you can hit me with your sledgehammer and just kind of looks at him like she's horny. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. Is she tempting Triple H away from his true love, John Cena? He's Who knows? She's trying. Yeah, I don't watch wrestling for hetero relationships. I don't approve of this. This is bullshit. Triple dude. H, go to your man, John Cena. And then she leaves, and Triple H, in another epic joke... Goes to call her back. Says, hey, hey, I need advice on taking on five guys at once. Whoa. Uh, 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 he uh, waited uh, way too segment. long for that shit. He waited way too long. He fumbled that bag so hard. Really? Hey, Lita. Lita, come back. What about... Hey, wait, Lita, come on. I got it. Five guys at yeah. once. Lita. Lita. 
Lita. <laughs> but guess what? We got Ric Flair versus Umaga set for the pay per view. Also, since this is the go home show, why don't we uh, throw up the shitty PNGs of all the matches? Look at that tie. Look at how bad they are. Oh, hey, they changed Trish's hair. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Wow. Incredible. Hold on. Wait, wait. Where's Nico at? Nico, I'm here. Nico, I gotta I'm chilling, grab you. I gotta grab you out of the hole that you're in because we got another women's segment, two on one show. Double women. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you hear uh, Mickey James theme and uh, Jerry says, "Who's it gonna be?" And it's yeah, just regular. Uh, it's Mickey. just. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, before we start, I want my apology, Ty. For what? Last week, we, uh, not even last week, but last Raw Down, uh-huh. you and I went at it because I told you this whole thing with them dressing up each other was Trish Stratus trying to demonstrate that she was better with the mind games of Mickey James. And you told me, no, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I want my apology. Well,. I don't know why she gave up on the blonde gimmick, but I, I apologize. I appreciate it. Now, going back into this segment. So, Mickey James comes out, and clearly, she, she, in my opinion, at least from watching this, I think she just, like, I think what they're trying to go for is that Trish kind of pushed it a little too far for Mickey, so she just stopped because she's like, okay, I get it. And she's like, I, I'm just Mickey James now. Uh, let me tell you, watching this segment and what just come out and be like, yeah, it kind of bad that I thought I was Trish was like the most, uh, what's a good term for this? Uh, lamest way to get this across. Like this was so like, they didn't even try. They half asked this, right? She just comes out. She's like, I'm Mickey uh, and I'm the champion. Yay. And you see, Trish comes out, who's still dressed as Mickey James, right? She gets in the ring. She's still doing the Mickey James stuff. Mickey tries to talk, and Trish basically finishes her sentences. But she kind of misses a few of them. Like, I think there's one where uh, she they say she gets it right, where she says stop, and Mickey says stop. The other one, Mickey says something else, but she says stop again. Uh, and then basically Mickey just gets mad, uh, goes to, they go hit each other a bit. Trish goes for the chick kick mixes and in a pretty nice thing, she like misses and fucking rebounds and gets her with the second chick kick, knocking her ass out. And Trish is being put over before the big match at backlash. And, uh, uh, uh Trish still doing good work. Still. Looking great in that Mickey James outfit, but uh, this was this took any of the fucking energy from the last few weeks just out. <laughs> this was lame. Oh, you didn't like the mirror match where they kept doing the same moves, and uh, when she missed, she still went for the fucking spot again for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like uh, when they went for the kick. Yeah, she went for the kick, missed, thought... and then she went for the kick yeah. again, and I was like, okay. Yeah. I thought that was kind of on purpose. I don't think it was like to kind of show that. Yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I'm with you. I'm just trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because, like, this was always a lame duck way to end this uh, Mio storyline. So, so what does that mean it, for the pay per view? <laughs> like, this doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I don't know if Trish is going to fight as Trish or Mickey, but Mickey's going to fight as Mickey. It, but who? But you, you already killed it. You could have just saved it for the pay-per-view. Blowing off there and then just did whatever. But I, I don't know. This was dumb. This, this was not great. These these women's second segments this week, not good. Oh, they were really bad. And we didn't even have a real match. They were. Nothing. No. Nothing. No. They was, it was te- It's honestly, it was just bad. And it wasn't even bad in like a fun way. It was just like frustrating with the bikini thing. And this... Because Mickey and Trish, have some, they have some of the best stuff on the show sometimes. And this was lame. This was just lame. So, and then, uh, that's all women's stuff. But you know what? If two women dressing 
like each other doesn't get you going off. I can tell you who will. Five men all dressed the same. Kenny, Mikey, Johnny, Mitch, and Nikki. And Benny. And Benny. Well, hold on. And Benny, guys. One sign during that second women's match. That was not all a match. All it said was Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben is here. <laughs> Big Ben is here. Bong. Bong. All right, next segment. The no, next segment. You mean the main event, pal? Oh yes. My apologies. You think you know me? <laughs> it, yeah, it's my time. Everybody, you'll notice I passed off Chris Masters and Carlito because I had to cover <laughs> just so much fucking garbage this show. I had a twenty-minute <laughs> promo. And a Can They Coexist handicap main event for the fifth week in a row. Will this stop after Backlash? Probably not. But maybe it'll be, I don't know, some different people. But anyway, so you got Edge, John Cena, and Triple H. Can they coexist against the entirety of the Spirit Squad? Top of the match, Joey says, The Spirit Squad makes me sad that I don't drink. <laughs> This is when I noticed that Coach has been gone, and I note that it's a blessed day. Backlash, mm-hmm. sponsored by Tops. When Triple H's music hit, my cat woke up and got scared. <laughs> Jerry Lawler says, look up the word controversial, and you'll find a picture of John Cena. And this is also where I note that John Cena cut his hair too short and is now thumbed out big style. It's real bad. Editor Ty, if you didn't put a picture of this earlier, to. put one here now. That bald spot he, profusely visible. <laughs> does not look good. Uh, the Spirit Squad, everybody in the ring start introing themselves and taunt spamming, and they get killed by Edge, Cena, and H for the main for the indiscretion. The I'm just going to call that group as a collective the main event, because I don't feel like saying all of their names. Nikki? So, yeah, definitely. The Spirit Squad is always the main event in our hearts. True. <laughs> the only main event Nikki will ever have that anybody cared about. Oh, man. So, so, the actual main event are all in the ring as the bell rings. And they start fighting over who's going to start out. Kenny kills Triple H from behind. We go to commercial shortly after this. Back from commercial, Edge is tagged in and he's against Johnny. Johnny tags out to Mikey, who's dispatched immediately. As is Mitch, who gets back body dropped and screams as it's happening. Right on to Mikey, that was okay. Then eventually Mikey cheap shots Edge. Spirit Squad start to tag out quickly. Take over. Frequent tags, you know, whatever, who gives a shit. This match sucked. Uh, The Spirit Squad, whoever the hell the two are in the ring at this moment, go for the whisper in the wind. Edge dodges, fights through all five of them, and aggressively tags in Triple H who kills Johnny in the corner with a vertical suplex. Joey Styles mm-hmm. literally says, can they coexist? Take your drink. There's one every segment where they actually say this. <laughs> Triple H hits the crotch chop. He keeps doing that, folks. Hmm. Interesting. And he knee drops Johnny. Kenny breaks the pin up. They go back to the corner. John Cena tags himself in. The crowd boos. Triple H is like, hey, what the heck, man? But he still helps him clothesline and kill Kenny. John Cena then suplexes Kenny, hits the tent corner punches. But some of the Spirit Squad distract the ref, and Mikey on the outside jumps off the trampoline to hit Cena on so the much. apron. I love the trampoline a, bit. <laughs> something or other. Yeah, the trampoline bit is pretty good. This was That was neat. Yeah, that is. The commentary really wants you to know that the Spirit Squad can operate as a unit. Can't John Cena, Edge, and Triple H. They just keep saying this because this match is not telling the story of it and nobody cares. So, all five of the Spirit Squad are now just on the floor with John Cena and they're all pummeling him as Edge and Triple H like, haha, this is funny. So, John Cena's thrown back in, takes a, takes a knee drop, we get two, he kicks out. Cena hits the 2K comeback, but Mikey breaks it up. Mitch tags in, hits natural selection on John Cena, who fires up again, fights off one of the squad, who then tags in another one. Mikey runs over to attack Triple H on the apron. And then John Cena, again for the third time, wakes up after being beaten up a whole bunch, just kills every member of the Spirit Squad. 
rolls he himself just... damn near dead to his corner. Triple H tags himself in, clotheslines everybody in the Spirit Squad, and hits a spine buster on most of them. Sets up for the pedigree on whoever is legal at this point. But Kenny interrupts, and the whole squad just come in and start fighting everybody. Triple H specifically. John Cena comes in the ring to save Triple H. Oh. But Edge just stays at the oh. turnbuckle. He's Dude. just laughing about this. Uh, John Cena hits an FU on Mikey. Triple H pedigrees somebody. And Edge leaves. He's like, ha 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 ha. And then John Cena and Triple H really, really think about kissing again. But then they tragically just start to fight as Edge and Lita laugh, and that's just the end of the show. I guess it's a no contest. I don't know if the bell rang for a DQ no, or whatever. No, just ends. But the show, yeah, show just ends. Yeah. So, All right. there you go. <laughs> Sweet. What Edge complete goes, dog shit. Oh, yeah, Edge <laughs> goes, ha you guys got beat up and I didn't. And John Cena and Triple H don't kiss. Two, two nope. fucking matches. They will never no let them kiss. That's, that's so crazy. The... Was there a this bell in the match. Vince? In the, no. I'm sorry, the Shane and Sean match either? No. no. I, I guess Vince did hit him with the ring bell so they couldn't ring it, but... Officially, it's both counted as no contest. All right, cool. So if we get, yeah, like, I don't know, what, four or five matches and two of them are no contest? Yep. Great. And one of them was one minute. <laughs> Jeez. Cool. Sick. All right. Man. Signs for this match. The champ is here, UK style. Our time is that. now. John Cena. Uh, Cena is a chump. And the chain gang. That's all I could really chain see. Chain gang, chain gang. Chain gang, chain gang. Uh oh. I opened up Audacity. Don't do that. Oh. Yeah. So uh, we got really brubbed out this episode. Really brubbed yes. out. And, yeah. Uh, Sorry, this wasn't a five star runtime like you're accustomed to after last week's hour forty epic, but we got a lot more out of the show than I thought we would. Yeah, this, this was a sucked. Yeah, this was bad. I, who the, I, people kept telling me this was good, but this was just like a really bad Ooh, show. Speaking there of which, nothing. Should I look up a uh, cage match? Tell me, tell me about. It. I'll look it up. Tell me about the uh, show. Yeah. No, the show, it's fuck. Like I said, I mean, this was clear. It's a UK show. They know every time that because they tape it, everybody's going to know the results. So they don't fucking try. And once again, they don't fucking try. So you get a bunch of humdum matches, matches to no contest, fucking terrible segments. They accidentally wrote this show last week. And so they had to come up with something. And to be honest, Backlash as a pay-per-view audience, it's probably my least excited pay-per-view that I'm going into right now. It just sounds bad. I don't want to watch this pay-per-view. And I know I don't have to. But I'm going to. And it's going to be a miserable experience. And this show just <laughs> cemented how miserable it's really going to be. Uh, your thoughts, everyone? Yeah, this show's so bad that I walked away and cleaned my kitchen. What? Get I, back in here. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. You know, for for what I was doing, <laughs> which wasn't watching the matches. I uh, yeah, that's true. I have four <laughs> reviews from Cage Match, and um, they Ooh. were all really positive. So I'll, I'll give the negative one first. A better show than the last few weeks, but still not good either. Because while the six man and main event were good matches and the opening promo were solid, the rest of the show left a lot to be desired. As the HBK Vince feud has no real reason to continue after Vince <laughs> lost to WrestleMania, and the bikini contest was pure filler for the purpose of Coach getting humiliated by Viscera. Sure, understandable. But now we got the German reviews, so let's let's get a little bit of uh, translating in here. So. <clears throat> Good edition of Raw. The opening segment was fine. Triple H praises Edge for acting like a champion. Although it has to be said that when Triple H is involved in a segment, you have to think ambiguously to get the joke. Like here. Cena doesn't want to talk and beats Triple H straight away, while Edge watches everything. The Spirit Squad then challenges the three in a main event. The opener was okay. A chaotic six-man tag team match. There was also Matt Stryker good in the ring, which I've honestly never seen fight often. You can lead the bikini contest as it is. Shane McMahon vs. HBK was fine. You did everything right that it ended in no contest. After all, God is supposed to help somehow. Umaga vs. Jobber was terrible. The audience left it cold as did I. Flair now faced Umaga backlash. Mick and Trish were unfortunately a waste of time. The main event was okay. It wasn't as described as here. 
As, after Triple H and Cena missed their finishers at the same time, they brawled while Edge just watched from the ramp. That was an 8.0 8. rating. <laughs> and sure. then the last little one was entertaining show from England. The main event trio is still the strongest part of the show next to the senile WWE owner. Kane destroys the show backstage. Shane eliminates Michaels with a leap of faith. And Mickey and Trish have a final meeting before Backlash. 7.0. So it has got a very positive rating on Cage. <laughs> what? Yeah, everything was 8.0, 7.0, 8.0, and then one remember, 4.0. They, they, they have, I mean, there's not really much going on in wrestling in 2006. That's like great. You know, yeah, unless you're true. going over, maybe overseas there is, but the American scene is not good at the moment. So, like, I don't blame them for being nicer than we are, where we have a lot of good wrestling going on right now that you can find almost everywhere yeah okay and as we but, and as we wrap up the show i got one little segment my wife wanted to ask emerald a question because you know ask oh, emerald no. anything so what were dachshunds bred to do oh oh i think i know this uh I, dachshunds were bred to hunt a very specific animal mm-hmm I, I think it was weasels. No, no, it didn't sound right. They were they were they were bred to hunt a very specific animal that they were small enough to get into their dens and uh, flush out. You can do it. You can do uh, it. You got this. It's like it's like the was Squirtle. It, uh, was it? I think it was. Was it like uh, foxes? Ooh, you're close, no. dude. No. The the German name translates to this animal. Yes. Correct. Shoot. Come on, come on, come on, Emerald. Think. Just punch yourself in the head real hard. It's Gen 1, dude. It's Gen 1. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's I'm going to do that, but I'm going to make sure I get it on the mic. <laughs> no, don't do it. No, don't do it, please. Do it. I did it. No, please. Uh, Snucker. Snakes? Ooh, that's that's no. the final answer. It was Badger, no. dude. And with Badgers, that, and with it uh, was Badger. Badgers are fucking rough too. Yeah, that's what these dogs are bred just for them. They're, See, those those guys. badger dogs. You got raw down, yeah, pal. Yeah, well, 